Then next, we will jump into the data visualization part. So what is data visualization? Why it is important? So this is a pretty uh, you know, known question, right? All, almost all of you are aware of this one, right? So at least uh, you know what is visualization? What is uh, visualization? And um, so it's nothing, visualization is nothing but uh, presenting data in visuals, data, presenting data in visuals like bar chart, column chart, donut chart, bubble chart, funnel chart, and so on. Okay. Why do I need to present the data in visuals? Quick, quick to interpret, quick to gain insight. For example, I have 10 million records are there in my data set or by 10 million records, you have 100,000 records are there in your Excel file. When you open it, uh, you need, right? You have a lot of data are there. You need to keep scroll down, down and see, uh, you know, uh, to gain some insight. It'll take time. Instead, instead of going through the data in the form of table or in, in the table or form, if you look at the data in visuals, you can gain an insight quickly. So what is happening in this uh, visual? So this visual, we have plotted the sales by weekday. Right, this one shows us the sales. What are the sales by weekdays? How much sales we made in Monday, uh, and how much sales we made in Tuesday, and so on. What insights you are able to gain it here? The volume of the data is huge. Uh, table or data, you need to scroll down and see. But to gain the insights, it takes a lot of time. But you create a visual in Excel itself, or you you have created the visual in Power BI itself. So what kind of insight you can gain it here? You can see that the weekend, the sale is more compared to the weekdays. And Saturday, the sale is going up. This is just, you know, you just think this is your uh, last six months data you aggregated. Okay, last six months. In Monday, how much sales we made? In the last six months, in Tuesday, how much sales we made? Okay, likewise, you aggregated the six month data here. And it shows Monday, six month Monday data, this one. Okay, but with this, you can understand, we can see a trend that uh, Friday it is slowly picking up the sale, and Saturday, Sunday, the, the Sunday, especially the sale is very high. So, with this, what we can understand here is uh, during weekend only people can afford walking into my mall or in my retail uh, store to buy the items. More number of people can walk into my store on weekends only. Okay, what action item you can come up by by knowing this? What action item you can come up? It is not just creating a report uh, is your responsibility. Sometimes you may have to present it to the management. They'll ask you. This is the value they expect from us. We need to go and tell them, uh, okay, and what insights you are able to gain it. So we can, so we can see the trend that the sale is more since stock up more items during Saturday and Sunday. And uh, during weekdays, especially the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday and Thursday, the sale is not that impressive. Even though we have given discounts and offers, we don't see uh, the, the, any you know, increase in the volume of the sales on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, so in those days, probably we can focus on our inventory let's not stock up so many items especially the perishable items on wednesday and thursday because the sale is not that good and also from the staffing point of view sunday you put more staffs in our retail store probably wednesday and thursday or, or you know tuesday wednesday thursday you can reduce the number of staffs we don't need so many staffs and weekends you can improve the increase the staffs probably you can hire some uh, additional staffs on a you know weekend basis, part time basis, so that we can cut the cost. You know, instead of hiring thousand staffs and uh, keeping them uh, all through the month and paying every month the salary is expensive thing. Probably on a need basis, we can hire the resources so that uh, we can ramp up and ramp down. In that way, we can cut the cost, salary. We don't want to give so much of salary. So by just looking at this one visual, we are able to understand the, the trend. What is the trend, the pattern, and then 
we come up with some action plans. What action? By visualizing the chart is not sufficient. Okay, while gaining insight is not certain, what action plan that you can come up? If you go to that step, then you can obviously demand more. You don't have demand, they will pay you more, okay, the salary. So now you, now you understood with this simple uh, visual, uh, okay, how, uh, you know, why data visualization is required, okay? And presenting data in visuals are much more uh, efficient. Right? So we all know that our brain processes visuals much better than any complex uh, the table or uh, report forms, right? So our brain is not capable enough to understand the insights with the humongous amount of data or text at once. But with visuals, we can gain the insight, understand the insight in a matter of jiffy, right? <clears throat> And this is another example. So what factors drives the sales here? So these are the different factors. Okay, and price is one of the important factors based on the feedback or survey which you ran with uh, your customers uh, uh, or you know the number of reviews in your online thing. You have seen that rating matters a lot. Obviously, if you buy a camera, you go and uh, inquire your friends which camera, which brand and which model is good, which one is cheaper also. Obviously, the price also matters a lot. And at the same time, the reviews matters a lot. The feedback given by videos. So these are the factors. So with this visualization, you can gain a quick insight what factors drive the business. So then you can focus on the core area, okay, the price, and then the number of ratings or reviews and see which products, uh, you know, they, they, they got some bad ratings probably you can discontinue those products selling in your website or don't stock up too much of items. So now, yeah, so the visualization, why it is required, why data visualization, like I said earlier, you can gain a quick insight. And also it, it helps you to understand what factors influence customer behavior, the price, in this case, the price. And it helps us to identify the latest trend and predict sales volumes determine which areas require attention or improvement. Like I said, which areas require improvement or attention. For example, weekends, we have more sales. It requires some attention when it comes to staffing. You deploy enough staffs so that uh, customers will be delighted. If they need any help, they can speak to the staffs there, if you have more staff. If you don't have any staffs, they're gonna ask any questions. They'll have to go and do Googling everything. Okay, they can you know ask inside the shop. So they can ask uh, the they can get their help. These are the simple example. Okay, so the data visualization is paramount. So as part of data exploration, you will get you will gain insights not only from the business point of view, even from the data point of view. Like I said in the data profiling, when you do the data profiling, it's kind of uh, your uh, exploratory data analysis you will get to know, are there any problem with the data itself? Before you create any report or anything, make sure that the quality of the data is also important. Okay, the good. If the quality of the data is not good, then no matter uh, you know how um, appealing your report um, outlook, okay? <clears throat> what insight it gives, that matters a lot. And also, uh, the how accurately it gives us this. So in that kind of situation also the data exploratory analysis is very much important. The visualization also helps you to understand quickly do you have any outliers or so. Okay, next we will move on with understanding what are the different types of charts are available. Line chart, area chart and so on. Okay, what are the charts that I mentioned here, right? Apart from this, we have some more uh, charts are available. And uh, here, if you look at the Power BI desktop, just beneath the visualization, you can see a lot of visuals are there. Here. So apart from this, if you wanted to use any custom visuals, you can click on these three dots, get more visuals. You can get some third party 
the, 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 the charts here. Okay, you can simply add it here. For example, I want to use a Gaunt chart. I click on it. Gaunt chart is not available by default, but your management wants to use the Gaunt chart to track the project progress or something like that. So you can simply click on that. It will get included as part of your visualization here. Import successful. Look here, this is the one. Gone chart by MEQ software. It got included here. So a lot of visualizations are there. We'll go uh, the all the visualizations, whatever is available by default as part of the Power BI desktop itself, we will explore it first. Okay, now to start with um, the line chart and area chart. Okay, even I'll cover uh, the custom user also, don't worry, okay. And now uh, let us start with understanding what is line chart and what is area chart. <clears throat> what is a line chart? 